You need to troubleshoot your OBS and you don't know how to do it? Let me show you in one quick short. Okay, so first let's put your OBS in test mode. Go into settings, go into stream, and then click enable bandwidth test mode. If this button isn't there, what you need to do is disconnect your Twitch and then automatically reconnect. Or if you're not automatically connected, automatically connect your Twitch account. Apply and OK. So first thing we need to do is bring up everything that's going to monitor the stress of OBS in your computer. Go ahead and right click on your taskbar and bring up task manager. Let's go into performance and on your GPU. Let's make sure this is showing your video codec engine. Then go over to OBS, click on view and bring up your stats. These two items are what we're going to need to monitor your PC whenever we're testing this out. Okay, next thing I want you to do is open your favorite game and any other applications you may use like Discord or Spotify. Okay, now with everything running, we want to go ahead and hit start streaming. And because we're in test mode, it's not going to start streaming on Twitch, but the OBS will still encode and send out. Go ahead and hit yes. Let's make sure that we have our metrics here. You can see our video codec engine is starting to encode for OBS. And then we also have our stats up right here. Let's reset these and then go into the game that we're going to be streaming. Now in the game, you want to do some things that are going to cause like the big graphical uh, loads. So let's look at your stats. Right here, you can see on my video codec engine, we are not maxing out. That's the biggest thing that you don't want to happen is your video codec to max out. That is your OBS sending out the encoding to Twitch. Also, you can see the 3D rendering didn't max out as well. Also, you can see over here on the side, we have zero rendering lag and zero skipped frames. Make sure these are at least below 0 0.1. Now, if you're having any issues with any kind of frame drop, frame lag, or anything like that, what you want to do is start by lowering your settings in your game. Lower your graphic quality because this, if you're maxing out on your 3D rendering, is going to be causing issues with OBS. So yeah, so if you're still having issues after dropping your graphics quality in the game, head over into your OBS. The first thing I'd recommend is right there. Drop your frame rate down from 60 to 30. That's going to be a huge load off your PC. If you were still having issues, the next thing I do is go from maybe 1080p down to 720. If you have any more questions, comment down below and I will answer them as promptly as my phone gets the notification. Also, if your friend is having any trouble with OBS, share the video. Like, subscribe, and I'll be dropping a lot more for you guys to help tune in your OBS streaming.